everyone's favorite deputy prime minister, former prime minister and finance minister was talking um, to um, <laughs> was talking to a group of elderly uh, in his home constituency in Kyushu, where basically everyone is elderly now. <laughs> I mean, uh, he, he's a representative from a part of the country which has the elderly, you know, lots of elderly and not enough kids in, in a way more dramatic than in places like Tokyo. So he was giving a talk to his uh, supporters, his elderly, you know, 80 and above sort of supporters in his home constituency, and he said, you know, they're, they're saying that you have to feel bad, you know, that we're, we're, that we're funding, that we have this crisis that we can't fund pensions and that we're having this demographic issue because there are too many elderly. It's not your fault for being elderly. The problem lies with the ones that didn't give birth. Uh, and, and the thing about Taro Aso, I've said this before. I don't dislike him. Uh, when he was when he was um, voted out, I mean, he had a disastrous term as prime minister. But when he became like a, an opposition party member with no power whatsoever, he went on TV, and when he was commenting on his time as prime minister, he was really self-effacing about what a disaster it was, and um, he'd make jokes about himself and how stupid he was, and you know how these things and. Oh yeah, I knew I'd really done it then when I said that. I was wondering, geez, what should I do? He, he was recounting episodes like this, and he does this sort of thing all the time. But the funny thing about it, he's actually quite smart. He's actually quite humorous. He obviously doesn't have a filter, but he was kind of making a point that, you know, the problem is that we don't have enough kids, and we're blaming elderly for the fact that we don't have enough kids. But essentially, the way that he phrased it, he said specifically, it's the ones that didn't give birth that are the problem. He's basically telling an elderly, mostly male audience, it's young women that are to blame for all the things that you're being blamed for. Like, we shouldn't cut your pensions just because some young women didn't want to have kids, is what he said. And uh, essentially blaming uh, women. A a and again, I, I would argue that um, when a finance minister is blaming um, uh, uh, women who, who don't consider it economically viable to be able to, you know, to, to, to marry and to go and have kids, uh, and he's blaming them for... Um, the fact that there aren't enough kids, it's kind of the minister is like the minister of health blaming, uh, you know, not providing enough um, vaccinations and and then complaining to all the people with measles for getting measles. <laughs> I mean, it's the minister. If anyone's going to provide a, an economic environment that makes it feasible to have families, you know, to have kids, it's the minister of finance. But he's basically blaming the women who can't afford to have kids for not. <laughs> You know, for, he's the Minister of Finance, so uh, he's walked it back, as of course he had to do. And um, it's highlighted again, perhaps, just how out of touch the government is, all of that said. Uh, we still have the um, Brewster's Millions, we have the opposition that seems to be trying as hard as it possible, that possibly can to not take advantage of the, the government trying to blow up itself. It's like both parties, it's like the opposition and the government are like in a competition to try to see who can lose the election, and the opposition is doing a better job of it. Um, so he's going to get away with this, but um, but yeah, that is all the stories that we have this week, not having children problematic, Aso, Aso by name and by nature.